Well, hello, this is Andrew, and welcome back to my channel. How it's been a while before I record some videos, but today I have small upgrade because I got sick, so I haven't been today at work, so as you may see, this is my main server. Well, it was, at least for today. For this day, today was 22, 23 of November and this is my new one with the DL380 duration 8 this is 360 duration 7 because of this I will sell it I was too lazy I was playing with the, uh, this one before I have some kiddies playing with to server 2019 but to, because I have a database for the servers which still run Arma 2 Daisy mode and it is uh, available to connect through entire the network uh, it was enabled to start on server 2019 here is server 2012 R2 so what I was thinking because uh, the generation 8 have the how to say hot pluggable raid i can just switch the hard device from the old server to the new and it will auto rebuild and just will go without i think any problem so i started to remove the hard drives and uh, put them in the new one. I already have put two my SSDs inside, they are both the same. This is the main, this is the second one, they are in RAID 0, uh, in the mirror I think it was RAID 1, not the stripe, and this I was testing for the, from the NetApp hard drives have a box of them with the 20 pieces inside uh, it for now has only 42 gigabytes of RAM but it will be upgraded but there is a big plus it has uh, the top of the CPUs for this type of the servers it was 2619 yes the hottest CPU what there was available for this type of the server but there is one minus I can put more than eight hard drives because it will be overheating but there is a RAID controller behind PHP RAID array P822 I guess with two gigabytes of the flash on it so I can put connect this one and the second one from the EMC they are both working without any problems so I'll be right back when I will unscrew the drives and put them in well how it calls find a difference well except that this one is on the right side is branded by HP oh come on focus But the rest is the same. This is how far have I just gone to my left. Well, the last hard drive is inside, so let's turn it on. Oh. 
This is all what's left. A bunch of screws, the old titties, which is, by the way, original one. Will be a little bit louder before it enters. But I hope it will be fine because as I can see they already have to be cut. Because this is the red one. This is the red 10. But it still complains about something. Yep. It's all good. Let's now lower the noise, please. Ah, thanks. Much better. Let me check in the hard drives. Yep, even this one can be very silent. Well, except the heavy loads, like this. And here goes the community, writing about the servers is dead. Ah, damn it. Well, now let's see. Well, what do you know? It's working. My old server operation system. It'll take some time to load. Uh, there's uh, probably yep, the folding started. So I'll just turn it off. As I mentioned before, the problem is that this is one of what is now my main server and it has the biggest Daisy mod database through all of my servers. And uh, it's not working, the database is not working at all on the 2019 server. I don't know why, just not initialized. It starts the server, it starts to call in, but it have zero response even if I rewrite the full ini file. So, this is I think all for now, but I need to change the MAC address for the server, otherwise uh, I will not be able to get the original IP address which was on these servers from the beginning and what it was maybe this just copy that uh there is a 10 minute limit on the recording and this is the Yes, it has 10 gigabit connection, so noise. But I have only 1 gigabit switch, so I think see you later. Well, come on, focus, damn it, stupid phone. As. Uh... 
as you can see there's have been a p change and it should be now yep the correct mac address so let's switch the cables and see if it works well i switch the cables and it's all fine damn it what the hell is that with focus it's all working Yep, I'm using the sound for the web hosting, so... <laughs> uh, connection is... Uh, if you yeah, I don't believe, so here you go. HP Smart Storage Administrator. As I said before, it has two RAID controllers. This is for the external one. This is for the internal one. And if we see, we have all 8 gigabytes. As I mentioned before, a little bit sorry because I'm filming from the phone. And so for now, I don't have any control. So, hope you enjoy my video. Sorry if something. Thanks for watching, and see you later. Bye-bye.